In this video, we're going to see how we can add tears to cloth. In this setup, I have this piece of cloth that's on top of another piece of cloth. And this one already has a cloth simulation on top of it, and uh, all the collisions are set up. So uh, if you want to know how to do a cloth simulation, um, I'll leave a link in the description below and maybe leave a card up in the video. So let's get started. So what I want to do in this cloth, I'm going to add three cuts. So I'm going to have a nice thin tear around here. I have a bigger tear that is way more pronounced in the center here. And then I'm going to have a third cut that extends to the boundaries of the mesh. So in order to do that, we go to edit mode, make sure everything's deselected. And then you are going to use the knife tool. And so the first thing we're going to do is add that top thin cut. So we're just going to, so in order to use a knife tool, you click at a certain spot and this is going to create edges for you along the path that you define. So you can see how I'm just creating that and it creates the edges for us. So I'm just gonna do this very quickly to save everyone time and just keep clicking to, you know, complete that first cut. We'll just do a little more, maybe like right here. And then push space once you're done. Then go to mesh, split, faces by edges. So what that will do, it'll take the edges that you had selected, which is at the cut, and it'll split the mesh such that they, those, the mesh is not connected at those vertices. All right, so deselect everything and then go ahead and we're going to create that bigger cut now. So just go through this very quickly and go right about here. And so you'll be able to see this cut way more pronounced than, um, than the top cut. And that should complete the loop. Space again, and go to mesh, split, faces by edges. And we're gonna do the last cut, so deselect everything again. And we're gonna just start a cut here. And go here, here, there. And then just make sure we have that last cut along the border. And then space, mesh, split, faces by edges. And one thing I'm gonna do, uh, which you don't have to do, but I'm going to select that inner geometry and delete it. That's just saying like, oh, the cut's already there. Um, you can leave that in. And then when you play back the simulation, that cloth will appear to be like falling off, right? And so that could, if you want to show something being torn, then you want to leave that there, um, but that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake this animation and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so the animation is done baking and let's see how it looks. So you can see how like initially it looks kind of not so good, but then the simulation really takes over and it, it does a pretty good job, right? So you can obviously change the tightness of the cloth and all that through the cloth simulation properties. But ultimately this is, you know, looks pretty good for a little amount of work. You can make it look much better by, you know, making much tinier edge cuts along the edge, along the edges of the cut to um, give it a much more believable look, but you know, this is basically how you can do it. And you let the cloth simulation take over to um, bring the tears to life. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show the render to so we can compare before and after. And then that's it for the video. And um, thanks for watching.